What is up, everybody? Big Ops 666 here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. I'm still testing my Blue Yeti microphone. Let me know in the comment section below if it's pretty good quality because I've been playing, like, doing little touches here and there. When I first plugged it in, I could not hear the sound from my TV, like, at all. So I had to actually go... Um, Look it up on YouTube or what was going on and I had to do like two, three things on my PS5 to actually hear the, hear the sound um, in the background when I, when I record because I didn't hear nothing when I plugged in from the USB. But yes, the Blue Yeti actually worked on PS5. Stars. And of course, somebody had to be freaking texting me. Oh, freaking Facebook BS. But it, but anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the, the, the new quality of the Blue Day microphone. To me, it sounds real, real good. And I'm not even that close to my microphone compared to my Turtle Beach um, streaming mic. I'm, I'm let you guys know. <laughs> it's a night and day difference. Seriously, night and day difference. But anyways, um, Microsoft officially owns Bethesda, like completely. That Like there's no offense but buts. They sign a deal. Okay, Microsoft owns Doom, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, all those type of games. Officially, Xbox. And there has been so many Sony fanboys pissed off about this and worried that they're like, you know, triple A games like Fallout and, you know, the next Elder Scrolls game won't be coming to playstation you know and let me put my own two cents of this at the very end of the article but i, I wanted to talk about what phil phil spitzer said apparently there was like a little um um video of them bethesda and and microsoft talking about an hour of what's going on with the bethesda titles that's coming in a, in a new future so this will phil, phil spitzer said we have games that exist on other platforms, and we're going to support those games on platforms they're on. There are a community of players, and we love those communities, and we will continue to invest in them, and even in the future. There might be things that have either contractual things or legacies on different platforms. But if you're an Xbox customer, the thing I want you to know is about delivering great exclusive games um, for you that shipped on all platforms where Game Pass exists. That is our goal. That is why we're doing this. And that is, that's the root of the partnership we're building and the creative capability we're able to bring on the market for Xbox consumers. It's going to be the best it's ever been for Xbox. So, um, basically, Phil Spitzer is saying, hey, most Bethesda games are going to Game Pass day one, right when they launch day one. And if you've been been around, that Game Pass is a freaking deal for Microsoft. Um, I played a bunch of games on Game Pass, crap ton of games on Game Pass. There's a bunch of games that I never even even would have even touched. If it was for Game Pass, um, Kingdoms, Kingdom, what freaking crap? I can't remember the freaking game off the head. Um, indie game, Blazing Chrome, would never even touch touch that game. Celeste, indie game, would never even even um, mess with it till I had Game Pass. Um, my fan, my friend Pedro, those games like that. I, I mean, I'm talking about indie games, but still. Games like that, um, the Plague, Plague of Innocence, never wouldn't touch it if it was a freaking game pass. They have a huge selection of games that for any for anybody could play on Game Pass. Anybody, I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm still playing Cyber Shadow. For some reason, I just stopped. <laughs> I thought that game was going to be great, but some for some reason on Game Pass, I just freaking just stopped playing it, and I, I don't know why. Uh, I guess it, it it didn't catch my attention. It's it's like a Ninja, Ninja Gaiden game but it just didn't catch my attention man i still need to finish it though but it was it was interesting but 
I don't see myself actually um, buying that game for a limited run. I don't know. I, I haven't finished it yet, so I, I I can't like honestly like give my own two thoughts if it's a great game or not. But from what I played, it's meh. But anyways, Game Pass is a great freaking deal for uh, Microsoft because they really don't have any games. And Phil Spencer, I know he lists a bunch of podcasts of the Xbox podcast and everybody else's podcast, PlayStation, whatever. And I know the same thing where everybody says Microsoft don't have any games. They they really don't, man. You you bought yourself an Xbox Series X. Um, okay. What games do you have to play? The medium? That was like a supposedly like a four to six hour game, supposedly. What else? Just been mostly multiplats. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. It's just been mostly multiplats, man, and and people getting sick and tired of, you know, Microsoft not having the games. That's why Phil Spencer's like, you know what? I'm I'm a fork down um, seven point seven point six billion dollars just to scoop them up, and that was Bethesda, and now majority of their games are on Game Pass. They had like. Doom 1, 2, 3, um, 64, as well. The other Dooms on Game Pass now. Morrowind, um, Elder Scrolls, the online one, which is not that good. Fallout 76, all, all those games. Wolfenstein, Dishonored, all those games on freaking Game Pass now. Day to day. Which, which is cool, but to be honest, I don't see people... Okay, let me, let me backtrack here. Bethesda has been the same. Like, actually, think about what type of games they're, they have actually um, produced that was actually good that everybody freaking talks about. Doom. They made um, Dishonor. The first one... I'm still playing it. Everybody loved the first one. But when the second one came out, everybody was just like, man, it's all right. It's okay. Um, Wolfenstein, the very first Wolfenstein, everybody was like excited about. Everybody loved it. The second one came out. Everybody was like, man, Young Blood, Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You, you know how that game came out. Freaking Rage 2. That, no one talked about Rage 2. No one talked about it. At all, <laughs> I think of one of my coworkers. He he played it. He bought it for sixty dollars. He beat that game within a freaking um, two days. He was pissed. He was he was mad hot, man. And he he loves um, Xbox. He he loves it, man. And um, I'm not saying Bethesda's not not a horrible company. I mean they they've been screwing up big time with Fallout 76. It's just their their glory days. Was when Fallout 3 came out, Fallout New Vegas, and some people have a love and hate relationship with Fallout 4. I enjoy Fallout 4. I'm still playing Fallout 4 just to freaking explore. It's it's a great game. It really is. But I sort of got burned out of open world games. I, I am actually burned out of open world games. That's why I'm playing for, for honor, you know, because... Uh, all I did was play Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed games back to back to back to back. So that's that's crap ton of open world stuff. Get get fatigued about. But anyways, Bethesda hasn't been that good of a company um, releasing bangers. I mean, that's just my opinion. I know they did a, Evil Within. Everybody had a love and hate relationship. I enjoyed enjoyed the game with the DLC. Not, not gonna lie, it, it was a pretty decent game, you know. But like I said, Bethesda hasn't been actually like badass like they used to like ten years ago, like freaking with Skyrim and freaking Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas, you know. That's why they're actually they're gonna really get rid of a bunch of the studio studios. So Microsoft pretty much scooped them up, and some of the games are going to go freaking PlayStation. Minecraft is still going to go going to PlayStation. Minecraft Dungeons, the um, Elder Scrolls Online, the Fallout 76. I know that's not a great great example of Fallout, but still, those games are still going to be on 
PlayStation. They're not going to freaking just scoop them up and that will be it, man. They're not going to do that. And some people are afraid that the next Elder Scroll is going to be, be exclusive. If it is, oh well. I have no problem with it because I have multiple consoles. If there's a game from Nintendo that I want to play that's exclusive, I'm going to buy that system. No matter what. A, a thing that's for freaking Xbox. I know I can get a PC for it, but I'm more of a console person. I stick with consoles. Diablo, when Diablo 2 Resurrection is um, come out, I'm going to buy that mofo on the PS5 because I'm a console player. You know? Don't get me wrong. I like Diablo 2 on PC, but I don't play that main game on PC. All my multiplats are on my, on my PlayStation. Now, the thing about me and, and other people, other, other Sony fanboys, I know when Sony do stuff wrong and I call them out for it. There's fanboys that will freaking pretty much um, defend them at any cost. I'm not that guy. I prefer PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation fan, not a fanboy. I, I'm not addicted to a piece of plastic. All right, how about that? Now, to me, I don't understand why people don't have multiple cons. I, I, you know what? How, 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 how to rephrase this? There's no reason to be dedicated to one, one platform. Especially if you want to play all these like triple A games like the latest Fallout or the latest freaking Elder Scrolls. There's no reason to have to stick with one platform. There's not. But that's just me. I'm not trying to say, hey, you need you need um stick your money, be more responsible for your money. I'm not I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying if you if you really call hardcore about playing video games there's no reason to be sticking to one platform. There's, there's not, <laughs> you know, that's that's all I'm saying. But I want to get my two thoughts, my own thoughts of talking about this and it's going to affect me any. I mean, I would like to have Fallout on my PlayStation, but if it's going to be exclusive, so be it. It's, it's not going to really affect me at all. If there's going to be a game exclusive, so be it. But anyways, guys, I just want to talk about the Bethesda being officially owned by Microsoft. And um, what else do I want to talk about? The stimulus checks. That's actually been pretty much Biden actually signed the check. So we're supposed to be getting that crap sometime during the weekend, maybe the week or two. Who knows? But um, that's going to be going towards the house. <laughs> and um, yeah, my... I think my neighbors, my nasty neighbors, I think they actually pretty much left. They're they're disgusting. Um, let's just say they're pretty much left their trash out back out backside, you know, by the back door for five days, like four or five trash bags outside in the hot sun for five days. That's 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 nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. I know that's too too much information, but yeah, they're they're finally gone. <laughs> I think me and my girl are pretty much like ran them away because I bought myself a freaking really really good sound bar. I paid like five hundred dollars for it, and yeah, this this sound bar is really good. So bad it it would like rattle the windows in my apartment. But um, yeah. That's about it, guys. I just want to let you guys know. Me and my girl are doing fine. Um, I had to go buy her a freaking moon ball, a moonlight thing. It's it's like a a, a colorful like ball that changes colors like a freaking moon. I, just type in moonlight. You'll you'll find it on Amazon or, or eBay and stuff. Um, the other one broke for some reason. I don't know what happened. It dropped, but I got herself a new one. I hope she likes this one. It's a little bit smaller than usual, but. She could deal. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about my mic and stuff. Um, uh, that's about it. I'm going to try to finish four on in a couple of days and pretty much try Mortal Shell since it's a PS5 enhanced game. And you probably in the background, you actually hear my PS5 running for some odd reason. But yeah, it, it does that when, it, when there's a disc 
inside inside the console now now it just stopped but you probably the might probably picked it up but so far it looks nice i do do enjoy the mic it looks pretty and i hope it actually comes out in really good really good quality but anyways guys i'm rambling on i'm done all right this is big ox triple six y'all stay awesome um wear your mask stay healthy and watch out for weirdos i'll see you guys next time Thanks for watching.